Today I'm speaking on the New Testament theme of New Covenant. The secular definition of covenant is defined as an agreement. It is a highly specific term and today does not hold much meaning except perhaps to, to the Jews. As Christians, the term is not something we explicitly speak of, but we have an understanding of how it underpins our everyday Christian life. The new covenant is a covenant of grace. Before Jesus made the new covenant with us, mankind was destined for judgment based on our actions and because of our sin. There was no hope for reconciliation with God. But when God gave his son Jesus, a new possibility became real. That the blood of Jesus could cover every sin and make a way for us to reconcile with our father and creator God. The new covenant is not a new version of the old covenant with the same laws applying. It is completely new. In contrast to the old covenant, the old covenant of law that stated that sin must be atoned for, Hebrews 10, 17 says, I will be merciful and I will reset, remember their sins no more. Wow. The institution of the new covenant, the covenant is arguably the climax of the New Testament as shockwaves from this new covenant reverberated throughout the world. In my first verse, which is Matthew 26, verses 26 to 28, it says, while they were eating, Jesus took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take and eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. What did the Jews understand of this? The Jews who believed understood that Jesus, as the son of David, is the fulfilment of God's covenant with David and also Abraham's promised seed through whom all nations would be blessed. Even if at that time they didn't understand this, we understand this to be by his broken body and poured out blood. He celebrates the Passover and establishes the new covenant. What do we understand it as? Let's look at my second verse, which is Ephesians 2 verse 13. But now in Christ Jesus, you who were once far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. This verse sums up the message of the gospel in a beautiful way and the purpose and outcome of the new covenant. <clears throat> in it, Paul is speaking to the church in Ephesus. He is wanting to communicate with them that they are made new and made alive in Christ alone. And also to teach them that the words, you who were once far away, doesn't just apply to Jews, but also to Gentiles. All are forgiven when they accept Jesus. We understand this to mean that to us personally and individually, that we were not born right with God, but through Christ we can be. The new covenant is perfect and no more needs to be done. The old law was imperfect, but the new is perfect. My third verse is 2 Corinthians 3 verse 6. He has made us competent as ministers of a new covenant, not of the letter, but of the spirit. For the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. This verse, written in Paul's third letter to the church in Corinth, exhorts us to see past rules and regulations that we may impose on ourselves and others and see that no more are we to communicate a message of striving and laws. But his sacrifice not only made a way for us to know God, but he has also graced us to bring it to others and to bring them in. We, you and me, have been given the tools we need to do this. Just as verses four and five say, such confidence we have through Christ before God. Not that we are competent in ourselves to claim anything, but our competence comes from God. The 
these words of Paul are spoken from a place of experience. He says earlier that he suffered greatly while ministering in Asia, almost to the point of death. If anyone could understand that ability is from God and not from man, it is Paul. In bringing this all together, I would like to quote the author, Gert J.C. Jordan. Throughout the Old Testament, this reconciliation was portrayed by means of the blood of sacrificed animals, sprinkled on the altar and the people, but eventually Jesus, by his sacrificial blood, became the final and perfect mediator of God's new covenant. In this manner, in contrast to the Old Testament law, the blood of Jesus speaks of complete forgiveness of sins and of reconciliation with God. Since the cross of Christ, believers can by faith boldly enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus, for our reconciliation is based on something totally new. Today, as Christian believers, the new covenant should never be forgotten or take, taken for granted. For it is by the life freely given by the Son of God that we can have personal relationship with him. What a blessing. One that Old Testament believers could have only dreamed of. We are reconciled to God, not through constant animal sacrifice, but by grace. Why don't you praise God with me? Amen. Is there any questions? I've got a question actually. Um, sure. I just want, did you say at the start yes. that the atonement was, no, atonement was not necessary? Or did I misunderstand what you said? You said um, something. I don't, I don't think I, I did say the word atonement. You said atonement somewhere right at the start. That's right. Atonement. And then you said he will remember our sins no more. Yeah. Yes, I have that. Yes, yes. In, co in contrast to the old covenant of law that stated that sin must be atoned for, Hebrews 10, 17 says, I'll be merciful and I'll remember their sins no more. Uh-huh. Okay. So my, that, um, it sounded like you were saying that atonement was replaced by um, mercy. Okay. Is that what you were saying, or was that not? I'm not quite hearing it right. Um, I could have worded that better. I was saying that Jesus atoned was the That's right. atonement. Yes. For sin. So, That's right. so reg I, yes. I will be merciful and I'll remember their sins no yeah. more. Yeah. But that was through Jesus dying for us, not, not just because the new covenant magically made a, a <laughs> way where God said, Oh, you don't have to, you know, ta-da. <laughs> it <laughs> yes. was not it was not an easy thing. It was um yeah, it was a it was a huge sacrifice. Yes, no, that, and that was made clear when you were talking about how animals are replaced by Christ's sacrifice. That was my okay. yeah, yeah. That's awesome. good. Good. Yeah. Great. Awesome. I just okay. had to ask a question. Yes, thank you, Dave. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right. Oh good. Okay. I think we can end.